Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been trying. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Hi, Dad. Welcome back. Hey, buddy. Sorry I'm late. I see Piccolo's got you hard at work. Yeah, Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict. <laughs> I know. Glad to hear it. You're late. What have you been doing? Sorry. Ran into a few hitches. <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? If you have any unfinished business, I suggest take care of it now. The androids are going to require our full undivided attention. How's the training coming along, Goku? We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right! Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. <laughs> uh, it's probably nothing. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Go on, take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Don't use up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Oh, sorry.
It isn't that I don't think we're capable of winning. I just can't seem to shake them. Just promise me one thing. Don't go getting yourself killed. If you die on us, then the Dragon Balls are history. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. in the city! Is it the androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it! They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. Y you're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go! Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. Yeah! I never imagined we wouldn't be- w wait If it's me you're after, then show your faces already! Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Maybe one of the other guys found them. Where are you? Come on, show yourselves! Tian Shen Han! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's got to be some place we haven't thought to look. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Krillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No. Gotcha. One... If you find one of them, let us know, okay? Whoa! I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha. Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien. 
Yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! Wait a minute. How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. But... they know about all of us as well. Yamcha. I hope he's okay. Right. He won't go down that easily. I can't sense their energy, so I can't get a read on how strong they are. I don't like this at all. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, tell us. How? Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you, Goku. I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. So that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giro remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giro himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giro is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. Ah! I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Well, then, what do you say? See what he's got, huh? Yeah! Here goes! Ah! I can't... I can't breathe! Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Yeah! Ah! He, he absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! Absorb the attacks! 
Give me a break. What? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man, I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Yeah. If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Gohan! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The heart virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No! Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away! I'll take him! I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not gonna be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta! Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us sayings. So tell me. Are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power, and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Wasn't having a pure heart a prerequisite for becoming a Super Saiyan? Oh, I can assure you. My heart is quite pure. Pure evil. Vegeta's a, a Super Saiyan? That power's unbelievable. This is certainly an unexpected twist. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this! Ooh! 
Vegeta's Big Bang Attack!
I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine, but don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplified Android Terror. That android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Etienne, got anything? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. There's no sign of him having left this rocky area. He's more than likely hiding somewhere. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. I'll make quick work of you. So that's all, huh? Find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Hmm. <laughs> Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! to say it, but we might have lost him.
<laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Go on. Androids, get over here. Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead. How did they find me? Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, okay. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Taking your energy. Your energy is mine. I will eliminate you! I will eliminate you! I will eliminate you! I will eliminate you! It's all good. I will eliminate you. I will eliminate you. I will eliminate you. Impossible! This can't be Piccolo's power! I will eliminate you! I will eliminate you! You've made a terrible error! Trying to fight me alone. Yeah, yeah. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? I will eliminate you. Disorder. I will eliminate you. Special wing cannon! Huh? And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Huh? Your energy is mine! No! I will not be done in by the likes of Piccolo! Huh? I will eliminate you! Disoriented! I will eliminate! Special Beam Cannon! This is inconceivable! And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? I will eliminate! Special Beam Cannon! Is mine. What's wrong? Another miscalculation? I will eliminate you! 
Nothing left! We can instantly increase our energy during a fight. What you drained was only the tip of the iceberg. Attack. Special beam cannon! Eliminate! Damn it! I will eliminate! Special beam cannon! Aren't the androids I know? What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much! I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So... Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. 
a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not that Kid's he... name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giro's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay, Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry, we've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. So if Androids 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. If this Dr. Jero built a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. He wasn't exactly a well-respected scientist. No surprise there. Androids 17 and 18, huh? I wonder if Vegeta's already run into them. Well, are we close to where the lab is? There it is, up ahead. Hey! <laughs> Looks like someone was. Jeez, it's freezing up here. I killed. Deal with it. I'm cool. You Earthlings are a pain. Uh, what? It's over there! That was surprisingly entertaining. It's close. What just happened? How 
dare you? I created you! You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. You hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not gonna follow a single one of your orders. We're just gonna take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one! What in the world is going on in there? Let's go! I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey. I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so, so those are the androids that Dr. Giroux was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to... Wait, where's Dr. Giroux? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giroux wants. But as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku! I couldn't give a damn about... <clears throat> oh, dear, how dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Kill Kakarot? Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power! Looks like some sort of highway. Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, Sixteen. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you alright? <laughs> so you came. 
You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Though I guess since you're an android, you're not really a woman. Look alive. Don't tell me. That wasn't the best you can do, was it? Of course not. This much in you. Does that mean that that Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Either. Steam. I guess I better put you out of your misery. Shut the hell up! You're done! Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman. Now you've done it! Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But... Aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know... You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan. Regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win! Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them die separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. Overdo it, huh? <laughs> yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? Tell us what the future's like, Trunks. Uh, I, I mean, if you want to. <laughs> no pressure or anything. 
Unfortunately, I don't really have anything positive to say, so I'd rather not talk about it. I'll win, you'll see! This is it! No way. Yeah. Yeah. Fight! 
They look weak. No cause for concern. They look weak. No cause for concern. Right. 
Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. I need to do my best too. Someone? Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi Chi. I'm pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. Now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh yeah! You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh no, that's not good! Alright, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. He is. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giraud tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, oh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin? You're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, uh, 
my future son there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah, it's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Um, Trunks? Yeah? I, I was wondering, is... is the future really all that bad? It is. Humanity has been reduced to only tens of thousands of people. Th that's terrible! It should be in this area. Let's start looking! <laughs> Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out! This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? 
This is some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh, so that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Uh, <sighs> Wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. What on earth is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the future. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, 
Would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? What do you mean? Wait, is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. W what? I shall ask you once more. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me! I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. <laughs> Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right. I'm off. Ginger Town, huh? Wow! This thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be?